moving. So we're in northern BC, heading into great stone sheep country. Our journey starts at Wish that he wasn't here. Keep on trucking. We powered through the night. It's about half an hour before sunrise. We're just starting to get into the mountains now. When after a full night of bush bashing with head torch, it's pretty nice to make some moves and get some miles under your belt here. I think we're getting wet, boys. Slippery. Well, as soon as that sun came out, so did the mosquitoes. 
So we're pretty, pretty inundated with them at the moment, which is not the funnest. So you kind of got to keep moving, keep them off you. Despite our best efforts, we're not making a lot of forward progress. Uh, the bugs are bad. The bush is thick. What used to be six, seven kilometers an hour is now down to two, maybe two and a half at best. Well, we've powered up into the Alpine. We've got about 40K behind us. We came up this valley and the last 20K, every bit of it's been earned, you know, fighting buck brush and River crossings, you know, we must have crossed that river 50 times. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a tough pull so far. We have about another 20K to go, but we are now into amazing sheep country. This, you know, this country is like something out of a Lord of the Rings. It's just beautiful. So we're gonna kind of enjoy it as we can before we start to descend down the other side and back into another long bush bash. Beautiful green though. The light is almost perfect so Let's see if there's anything hiding in the rocks. Everybody's starting to get a little bit tired. We have about another maybe hour to go where we start to get up into the alpine. It stays kind of close to the creek, yeah. Yeah. Until... Only a few hundred meters off, so we're probably not that far off. But... We're just waiting for Ken to show up in the Super Cup. We made our way here last night and we had a good sleep. So what we're gonna do now is once Ken gets here with the rest of our gear, we've got 10 days of food and supplies that we're gonna throw on our backs and then hit the alpine and see if we can't find the sheep. Yesterday we spent almost 20 hours trekking in uh, 65K. It was some pretty tough country. We ran out of food. It just took us a lot longer. The bush was way thicker than we uh, assumed that it was. We had a good rest last night, so now it's time to hit it hard again. So on a hot day like today, which is very hot for the north, there's a bit of a difference as to what the sheep are gonna be doing. I think that we're going to find the sheep either right on the very tops of the mountains, trying to get as much breeze and as much air to cool them off as they can, or they'll be down in the timber and laying in the shade of the tree. So if they're on the tops, great, but if they're down in that timber, sitting in, in the shade of a tree, they're really tough to see. And that's one of the biggest things, differences between stone sheep and doll sheep is Stone sheep tend to like the timber a lot more and their coat doesn't help the program any. Walking off this mountain into a bit of a muskag area, trying to pick up a game trail that'll lead us back to camp. We left our head torches back in the tents, so we kind of need to move before we lose total daylight. <laughs> 